So I was thinking in these situations, often the best thing to do is to go to someone who is infinitely smarter <laughs> than we are. And uh, we have the fortune of a friend named Jeff Sachs, who's the head of the Earth Institute at Columbia and a professor. Oh yeah, they got a bunch of smart people held up there. I think we should go visit him and ask him about climate change and what's really going down. What do you think? Yeah, sounds like the move. All right. Thanks for spending some time with us. We've had this idea of the impending kind of global warming and climate change, this impending thing. Is it upon us? How serious is climate change? Like we kind of, it seems like something that we're still talking about as something that's away from us. It's already happening. It's very clear. We feel it in the storms like the superstorm Sandy that hit New York City last fall. We see it in the heat waves that have hit Europe, uh, in the droughts that have hit a lot of Africa, major floods in Asia. So we're already in, uh, in a period of turmoil. Uh, it is, however, going to get worse because we're on a path uh, where the climate hasn't really caught up yet with what humanity has done to it. And of course, we call it global warming, but it's really climate change. Ridiculously, we're going into it uh, willfully blindfolded. Our politicians don't want to talk about it. The oil companies certainly don't want us to talk about it. They want us to just keep drill, baby, drill, and burn, baby, burn of uh, <laughs> our fossil fuels. Uh, and um, yet, I think all of us feel that something strange is happening on the planet. When you go to the Arctic and you know that the sea ice cover is shrinking because the whole uh, the, the warming taking place there is melting the sea ice, you say, okay, that's the effect there. But what the scientists are saying, no, 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 that's not the way to think about it. Of course there are effects there, but the whole planet is affected by what happens in each place. It's not just that the Arctic's problems stay in the Arctic. More extreme storms, more extreme droughts, more variability in our weather patterns. So this is, the, the Earth is connected, it's complicated, uh, and uh, we're just poking at it uh, without uh, any, any thinking and saying, you know, show us what you got. Uh, and it, it's gonna be pretty bad if we continue this way. The answer to the basic question, is there a different way? Yes. Is it a better way? Yes. Could we get there? Absolutely, yes. Will we get there? Depends on us. Your expedition can help a big, uh, quite a bit. So good, man. Thank you so much. Oh, thank I don't you. Know. Good luck. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have a great time. We'll, yeah. I'm going to be watching a little bit from a distance, but uh, we're going to hear Very the whole report. Exactly. <laughs>